Listen, not for discussion. We play with drums like shit is percussion. Stay with a hammer like this is construction. Drink too much Henny, my shoot up. Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's Clutch. We're back out with another video, man. Today's video, I got you guys with the best two way glass cleaning slasher build in NBA 2K23. Now, this actually is a pretty long and cool build name, as you guys see two way glass cleaning slasher. In my opinion, I think that is a very cool build name. So, today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this build. Now, for you to be able to get that name, you do have to go either power forward or center. For you to be able to get anything with glass cleaning in your name, like I said, it has to be either a power forward or center. So we're going power forward personally because it is going to be a little bit shorter. So I don't really think it's best suited for the center. And this other stuff does not matter. That's personal preference. All right, man, moving on to the height with this build. Now, you could make the build six foot nine, but as you guys see, so I'm going to show you guys. So if you go six nine, middle weight, pay attention to that spiel ball. It only goes to a 74. As you guys know, you do need a 75 spiel ball for the Michael Jordan dribble style. So if you make it a power forward six nine, you actually won't be able to get that, which kind of does suck. So personally, I did go six foot eight see you do unlock that 75 speed ball for the michael jordan dribble style we're going six eight minimal weight and then we're maxing out the wingspan because we're not even going 84 three ball for you to be able to get this two-way glass cleaning slash your name most of you guys probably think whenever you hear that name it's probably a pure inside this build actually can shoot but the three ball cannot be anything higher than a 79 so if the three ball can't be higher than a 79 there's no point in going anything lower than max wingspan so max your wingspan out and then body shape doesn't matter i'm just gonna pick bill all right, man, moving on to the attributes for this two-way glass cleaning slasher build, man. Make sure you guys do copy it down just like this. So our close shot is going up all the way to a 76. As you guys know, this doesn't lock silver switch, silver fearless, and at 76 to get our batch point. 80 driving layup. We're going 80 driving layup. This doesn't lock the best layup packages in the game. Plus Hall of Fame, Giant Slayer, Silver Slithery Finisher. You get Zach Levine layup and Jelly layup packages. Driving Duck is going up to an 86. As you guys know, doesn't lock Golem Ol's takeoff and Pro Driving Contact. Don't so go 86 Driving Duck. And our Standing Duck, we're bumping this all the way up to a 54 just so we get 16 finishing batters. Now, as you guys see, with the 6A, all your good finishing batters are tier 3. You will need to add one extra batch so you can get your Golem Ol's takeoff. So just throwing that out there for you guys. Make sure you guys do add one extra batch onto finishing so you can get that goal almost take off all right man moving on to shooting with the spill man mid range is going up to a 71 three ball like i did say for you to be able to get this two-way glass cleaning slasher build name your three ball cannot be higher than a 79 if you go anything higher than a 79 it is going to give you a completely different build name so just keep that in mind 79 is the max you can go and then we're not touching free throw our right, man moving on to playmaking with the spill man we are giving ourselves a 75 pass accuracy as you guys should know this does unlock the lebron james pass style the best passing style in the game so go 75 pass sack now ball handle we're actually maxing this out all the way to an 89 so you're going to be having hall of fame quick first step on this two-way glass cleaning slasher build it's actually to be really nice go 89 ball handle and now as i did say we did go six foot eight and the reason we did that because we got the 75 spiel ball for the michael jordan dribble style since you had to make this build a power forward and if you go six nine you cannot get 75 spiel ball on a power forward six nine because you are too heavy so we did make the build six foot eight you do have hall of fame quick first step and michael jordan dribble style this build is going to be pretty nice all right man moving on to defense with this build man this is by far the best category as you guys are to see this build is very very balanced on defense or interior defense for you to be able to get this two-way glass cleaning slasher name interior defense has to be at least an 85 85 is really good 2k labs has tested it out they said that there's really not much of a difference from an 85 interior to a 99 so you meet that threshold at 85 prim d we're going 86 prim d as you guys know it does unlock silver clamps and gold challenger really good threshold right there steel we're bumping this up all the way to an 85 as you guys know silver glove and silver interceptor block is going to be pretty good too like i said this build is really really good defensively you have an 87 block for silver anchor and you do unlock gold chase down ours offensive board it does have to be at least an 85 it cannot be anything lower than that if it's not at least an 85 it will give you a completely different build name same with the defensive board this has to be at least an 85 if it's anything lower if any of these rebounding stats are anything lower than 85 it's going to give you a completely different build name but 85 85 is really good that unlocks silver rebound chaser and like i did say look at the defense with this build it is extremely extremely balanced pretty much everything is at that 85 number you have really good prim d really good steal really good rebounding really good block like i said this build is very nice on defense if you guys do remember the plemic and glass cleaner build from nba 2k20 this is what this build reminds me of because it has insane defense you can dribble a ball hall of fame quick first step pretty decent shooting and really good finishing all right man moving on to physicals with this build man we're putting our speed all the way up to a 76 max out the excel vertical needs to be a 75 for your pro driving contact knocks and the rest of these attributes are going on to stamina you are going to be having a 90 stamina that's pretty much all you need in this game and as you guys can see man this is the bill right here so you have 16 finishing badges 16 shooting 20 playmaking and 27 defense
defensive badge for this two-way glass cleaning slasher build like i said this is a very balanced build if you guys remember the playmaking glass cleaner from nba 2k20 this is pretty much what that build reminds me of really solid build right here all right man moving on to take over with this build man now i would say here's kind of a downside of the build you would hear the name two-way glass cleaning slasher you would obviously assume you're getting slasher takeover unfortunately i couldn't really get slashing takeover you had to sacrifice too much for it I didn't really think it was worth it. So the options we did get are Sharpshooter, Lockdown, Rim Protector, and Glass Cleaner. Just since you do have a low three ball, I would highly recommend you throw on a sharp take. If you want to pull from deeper, then go ahead and throw on Limitless Range. Or if you're just going to be shooting at the three point line and you're going to be more like a secondary ball handler, throw on Spot of Precision. I'm going to go Limitless Range Primary. You can even double it up. Or if you want to go a defensive take, you can even go Glass Cleaning. Like I said, if you want to live up to your name, Glass Cleaning Slasher. I'm personally going to recommend you guys throw on a lock take. Perimeter Badge Drop and Extreme Clamps are the best lock takes in the game. I'm gonna go extreme clamps but if you want to go rim take or glass take or even double sharp take it's completely up to you the options are endless and as you guys can see man this build is similar to andrea kirilenko draymond green and evan mobley like i said this build is called a two-way glass cleaning slasher a very rare build name you don't really see this build too often now i'm gonna show you guys the best badges to put on for this build let's get this to 99 overall real quick get that out the way all right man now like i did say you do need to add one extra finishing badge so you can get this gold limos takeoff we only have 16 finishing badges so i won't be able to show you actually equipping the badge but just keep that in mind you will need to add one extra badge onto finishing so we're gonna get silver fast twitch silver fearless i think i'm gonna get bronze rise up and just so we can access those tier threes this last badge doesn't matter i'm just gonna go acrobat all right moving on to the tier threes like i did say just imagine we have one extra badge added on to gold limos takeoff but since we don't i'm just gonna course silver limos takeoff and i'm I'm gonna be honest as you guys see it's either between post riser or slithery finisher now i am going to tell you guys this if you do have the option to double core then great 100 double core finishing if you want both uh post riser and slithery finisher if not choose between the two if you're going to be going for more contact dunks and like the dunk meter and stuff then i'd probably go post riser now if you're planning on just attacking the rim doing quick drops you know what i'm saying just dunking with the x button then you can just go slithery i think for most people most people don't really use the dunk meter so i'm gonna recommend slithery but like i said just imagine we have one extra badge onto finishing for the gold limos takeoff now i was to tell you guys if you don't have the double finishing core badge pattern like i said once you put on slithery if you add one extra badge point you're gonna have one badge left over and for you to be able to get the silver post riser all you need to add is pretty much six extra badges onto finishing if you do want to be able to get this silver post riser it's completely up to you but if not this should be pretty good just make sure at least one extra finishing badge so you can get the gold limos takeoff all right man moving on to shooting with this bill man i'm gonna get bronze agent threes definitely want your green machine that is seven badges so you definitely i would say i'm gonna get silver ant for now and then probably bronze volume shooter just so we can access those tier threes now we do have silver catch and shoot i think i'm probably gonna recommend you guys do that as you guys see the other tier threes are only bronze badges so i'm gonna go silver catch and shoot if you want limitless range you definitely could i think since it's only bronze you don't really need it so i am gonna pass on bronze limitless range same thing with like bronze deadeye and bronze blinders it's only bronze so i don't think you really need it i'm gonna go gold volume shooter and I think I'm gonna go gold claymore as well. That's definitely gonna be a pretty helpful badge. And as you guys see, only one badge left. This doesn't really matter. It's only one bronze badge. I'm just gonna go clutch shooter. But if you wanna put something else on, you definitely can. All right, man. Moving on to playmaking with this build, man. 20 playmaking badges. You definitely do want your Hall of Fame quick first step. That's the whole point of going 89 ball handle. You definitely want bronze bailout. We have one more badge before we can access those tier three. So I'm just gonna throw it on dimer. If you wanna throw on something else, you definitely could. Now you definitely do wanna get your golden pluckable, core your golden pluckable. I would say you definitely want silver handles for days and if this was me i highly would recommend you add three extra playmaking badges so you can unlock this gold clamp breaker gold clamp breaker is crazy op like i said three extra playmaking badges so you get your gold clamp breaker don't really worry about bronze or silver listen if you're not going to get this badge to gold don't even worry about it bronze and silver aren't that effective only go for gold if you're not going to get gold just forget about it but just since we have extra badges, if you don't want Clamp Breaker, then you can just go like Silver Needle Threader and just call it a day. But I highly would recommend you run the Gold Clamp Breaker and just add three extra badges. If not, this is what I would roll with. All right, man, moving on to defense with this build, man. The best category of the build. We do have 27 defensive badges. So I'm going to highly recommend you get Silver Glove. I think I'm going to get Gold Chase down Aris. And just so we can access those tier threes, Bronze Workhorse. All right, moving on to tier threes with this build, man. I'm probably going to recommend either core Silver Rebound Chaser or Silver Anchor, depending on which one you core first. I'm a core Silver Rebound Chaser. Definitely want your Silver Anchor, Silver Clamp. I'd say Challenger is definitely the one you want to sacrifice here because we still do need some more tier ones and tier twos. I'm a highly recommend you throw on Bronze Interceptor and I think Gold Workhorse. As you guys see, with 27 defensive badges, you get pretty much any badge you would ever want. At the bare minimum for me, I would probably run two extra badges onto defense so you get your Hall of 
between workhorse and your silver interceptor if not this is actually pretty good or if you wanted to even double core then you could double core double core um gold challenger and then you can get silver interceptor hall of fame workhorse and then maybe even some menace or something like that at the bare minimum two extra badges hall of fame workhorse and silver interceptor and you should be pretty good but that's pretty much the end of the video man that is the best two-way glass cleaning slasher build in nba 2k23 let me know what you guys think about this build in the comment section below man if you guys have any other rare builds you guys would like me to make please let me know down in the comment section below and i will shout you out right when the video starts i really would appreciate it make sure you guys do drop a like subscribe if you're new and I'm out.